Right. Hello everyone! Hello. Welcome back to our channel. We decided to do a QA and a because I feel like we haven't done a QA and a in like two years. You Long, know? Longer, like three yeah, years. Yeah, like three years. Yeah, so we put it on our Instagram stories and said Sorry, there's like a gardener. Yeah, like, like looking at my gardener. Like, uh, but we both put on our Instagram stories mm -hmm. saying to ask us any questions that you guys had for us. Definitely want to answer things that were a little bit more, not so much personal, um, but uh, yeah, just not like, not like tacos or tamales, which tacos, by the way. What's your favorite movie? Like, obviously, Mamma Mia. Jurassic Park, you know. Yeah, so we just picked out a few, um, and we put them in little a little bowl that we'll show now, and we're just going to pick them there. Yeah, so go get that damn bowl. So this is the bowl of truth or lives, or whatever you want to call it. And basically, we got questions from her Instagram story and my Instagram story and mumble jumbled them. And yeah, so. See what happens. Why does the world value appearance so much over being genuinely happy? Ooh, that's deep. I don't think that the world values appearance over being genuinely happy. I just think that people assume that other people are happy by their appearance that they give off. Yeah. Does that make sense? So like, I don't, I think everyone wants to be happy, but I think for some reason, when, like people, I mean, like Instagram, social media, like it just shows that I'm so happy all the time when it's not realistic. I'm not always happy. So I think that people just like automatically assume that people are happy and then, you know, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Over Appearance is just what people see. So that's what people yeah. work hardest to Exactly. That's, to show, to yeah, show that's good. But obviously- So that comes hand in hand with like being yeah. happy. But I don't think people value it more. I don't think so either. Yeah. Or I saying. hope not. I hope not I don't know, but. You know, you not eat right now. How do you overcome your insecurities and stay positive? It's good. Well, for one, I don't think I pay attention to other people's negative opinions. Like, it's not healthy to dwell on someone's negative comments or if someone does have something negative to say and or something bad happens, I always give myself like five minutes to be upset about it and like be pissed about it and then just move on like it's not a big deal and i think i'm really good at that i think i always like am really angry for the first 10 minutes and then i'm just really good at just like okay yeah. like next and by the next day i like don't even remember it and i try my best to not let other people's opinions or even my own insecurities like get the best of me because it, it can be really unhealthy but i mean we both have so many insecurities and so many Thoughts sometimes that can be negative, but I think we're both really good at like taking it in, having a bad yeah. moment, and then just like yeah. moving on. I think it's that. totally normal to and healthy, people. yeah. Even healthy to cry or to have mm -hmm. like bad days or bad moments. It's just what it is. Yeah. But it's all about how you take it. Like just because you have a bad day doesn't mean your whole week has to be bad. Or you yeah. have one little bad thing, annoying thing happen to you, you don't have to live yeah. in your day. Your turn, B. This is the one I didn't want to answer. What is this? When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried. I mean, I cry very often. Yeah. I'm a very sensitive person. But like, I think they mean like, like actually yeah, like an actual, like, Not like a movie cry. cry. I think that last time that I like cried was that I told you. That I was like just in the car driving back from like some shoot I had. Uh huh. And I was just driving and obviously like I was, my period was probably coming or something. I was way too sensitive and like. I just remember I was driving and I for some reason was just so like angry mm -hmm. and then I started and I just started crying and then I started getting more angry with myself at the fact that I was sad because I have no reason to be sad like I am mm -hmm. very very thankful for my life and I was like Bobby, why are you crying and it was maybe you cry more and then I just thought like you know when you cry you just think of worse things to make you cry more mm -hmm. um so I was just like started thinking of like past things and I was just crying like a baby and then I got over and then the next day I was like I don't know why I did that Alright, I'll go now Cheeto If someone hates on your looks but why am I getting all of these body, face, etc. is that something that still hurts you? I'm just answering that them, No, I don't give a shit so. How was your life growing up? Let me say this to my parents and I think they really, really much value this that my life growing up is literally it was like the best childhood ever. We grew up um, on Miami Beach, so basically growing up we went to the beach, we went bike riding around my neighborhood, I went to my friends' houses, we went to like a really cute Catholic school, and um, and yeah, we just it was really nice. I think your childhood is your foundation of life, so I think that's where a lot of problems stem for and I definitely have problems and issues but I don't think they stem from my childhood because that my childhood was 
It was nice, right? Yeah, I mean, we kind of had the same childhood. <laughs> so, you, you were there. You were there. I think you were there. But yeah, my childhood was great. I was a little younger than my brother, but we kind of did the same things. My friends all lived around me. Like when I was young, we went to the same schools. Mm -hmm. It was really fun, and like yeah, my parents made it really great for us. Mm -hmm. And then teenage years hit, and that always gets a little, a little. Yeah, then high day. school and stuff. But I loved. My high no, school. we had fun. Of course, it was it's just fun. It's just like different. Like it was la, a la la la, 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 la. la. No, yeah. definitely not. But, uh, Have you ever felt insecure about your body? <laughs> Duh. I think if you, I think everyone has. Yeah, there's so many things about me I don't like, and it's not that I would necessarily change them or that like, I feel the need to change them, but I definitely something like, if only my legs were a little longer, like if only my cheeks were a little skinnier, like just like things like that. I mean, you're bound to like overlook things. We look at each other in the mirror all day, every day, so like it's just like. Yeah, I feel like I can sit here and tell you a million things, but like I, I'm happy with myself though. Yeah. Like I'm very, I'm very happy with who I am, and like honestly, I'm not even being lame. I do think that personality over, overtakes. Yeah, overcomes. Overcomes looks, and so in the like, long run. In the long sure. run, no, and even yeah, and even day to day, I really think so. Like yeah, you can be beautiful, but if you're not a cool person, no one's gonna want to work with you. No one's gonna want to be your friend. So like. At the end of the day, it's your personality that. If you weren't an influencer in this entertainment industry, what would you like to be? Are you an influencer? I don't like that word. I think if I've always liked the entertainment industry since I was a kid, so I'm really glad that we kind of dabble in it, especially together. But I think that if I wasn't in this, I have three professions that I would be. One is what I'm trying to do now. Two, what was the second one? I don't want to be like a an adventurer. <laughs> when I was younger, I wanted to be like Indiana Jones, adventure. but I said that for years. I want to be an adventurer, whatever that means, and whoever's gonna pay me. Yeah, <laughs> be broke as hell. That's what I gotta say. I really like nutrition. Like in college, I took two nutrition classes. I think that would be like my third. But I also think I would be like really, really good lawyer, detective, or lawyer because I I'm super, be super good at uncovering stuff. Like you have no idea. I can find anything. That's about it. I literally will find his cousin's sister. I'm like super good, and yeah. I can like no, I figure also, anything I also, out. No, I think but, you're very good at defending and making. I like, points yeah. in like mature ways kind of. So yeah. I, mean, I think I, I literally two years ago I was about to go to law school. Like right before I moved to LA, like I had already started buying my LSAT books and that was happening because I think I would have been good at it, but I don't think I would have been happy because it's not what I would have wanted oh, to have done. Want to be not yeah, about what it. I wasn't passionate about. And law is not something you could kind of do. Like it's like your whole life. So I'm glad I didn't do it, but I know my parents aren't glad. But yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> Oh. Are you in a relationship? Any relationship advice? <clears throat> well, yes, I am in a relationship. A very nice and pretty and happy one. Um, and any relationship advice, I would just say, oh, I have so much. One, you love yourself first, and then you can love somebody else, and that's complete fact. Mm -hmm. And then two, I think, if you're going to be in a relationship, if there is no trust or no honesty then don't be in it the number one thing in a relationship for sure is communication and being honest with yourself respect. whether it be your feelings or um whatever it is what you're thinking stuff like that being open with each other really makes it healthier and nicer and more enjoyable and then respecting each other in every way mm -hmm. shout out to ben all right what is your daily diet like um, but I didn't really have like a similar diet. I think everyone thinks we're just like super healthy or not eating or working out a lot of time, which is not the case, but we definitely try to follow Monday through Friday, be as healthy as possible. We de like during the week, we won't go have a burger or a pizza like that. It's just like, it's a Monday, like not happening. There's no way, yeah. And we really want one <laughs> all the time. We talked about it like an hour ago. Yeah. I think like anything in balance is okay. So like life is short and I want a cookie, I'm gonna eat a cookie. Oh but Sunday but, or Saturday. Yeah, Sundays or Saturdays I go in. But yeah. like during the week I do obviously wanna have a nice body, so I do try to like mm -hmm. be balanced with my diet. And, also like, it's not, not even so much about appearance for us, it's like we always say like we'll be driving on a Wednesday in the middle of the day and we're like, Oh my god, there's 
in and out or Burger King or whatever. And I'm like, if I had a burger right now, I would feel so bad, like yeah. physically, oh, not even sleep. about, yeah, I just want to sleep and it would ruin my day. Right. So that's why I try to like have a salad or a, or a wrap it really or helps whatever. Your energy it really sure. does. So that's mainly my reasoning. But um, but on Saturdays and Sundays, we go ham. Yeah, we love pizza. I literally could have a burger for lunch and pizza for dinner. Yeah. A pasta. I'm a huge pasta guy. Awesome. If you could improve anything about yourself, what would it be and why? Personality traits. I wish... <laughs> I have to say. Oh Like, obviously I wish I was like more into like cooking and more into like that household things. I'm really not. You're so annoying. <laughs> and I just like, I'm just, I don't like that. But I, I don't think I would change that. Like, I don't think I would really fun. I think if I had to change something, I think I, I wish I was more motivated. Um, I am, I do have like days where I feel super motivated, but then I have days where I'm, I really don't, and it's hard for me to feel motivation. Like I need to go find it when there's people that have so much constant like rush of like wanting to do things, and like I just, I, I think I lack that a little. It was my turn. How do you feel about having Latin blood? That's the lotion blood. I know, I know. Do you speak Spanish? Hablamos español y somos super orgullosos, orgullosos de ser latinos. Um, mi mamá es peruana, mi papá es uruguayo, uruguayo. And um, yeah, we're super, we actually were talking about this the other day. We really want to try and showcase more of our Hispanic side because it is such a big part of... We should actually of, just do a video on Spanish. Yeah, our next video we'll do on Spanish. Just on Spanish. Just on Spanish, which is a little hard, but yeah. we'll throw in some English words. All right. Do you ever feel weird that so many people know your sibling relationship, your cat, your dog, your day-to-day -day life? Dog. Your cat. <laughs> I don't know why I read dog. We don't have a dog. We want a dog. I don't feel weird because I think we have a really fine line between what we share, what we want to share, and what we keep private. We have a lot of things that are private. Like, I think our relationship with our parents is private. Yeah, so I think what we share is what we feel comfortable in letting people... Share. Yeah, we want to share our relationship. We want to yeah. share our cat. We want to share our nights out with our friends. Like, those are things we feel comfortable with. I don't think it's ever gotten to a point where we feel like something was out there that we don't feel comfortable that's out there. Not yet, at least, and hopefully never. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Do you believe in second chances? Um, yes. I feel like I do believe in second chances depending the situation and how depending on the situation but yes i do i would normally believe in second chances i do think people are allowed to make mistakes and then recover from them and learn from them but it, it just depends that's my answer what is something you regret um i try not to think about stuff like that because Everything happens for a reason. But it's not because of that. I just feel like it happened. So like, here we are, like, whatever, learn from it moving forward. But I think if I could think of anything, it would probably be to start younger. I think in high school and stuff, I kind of got really wrapped up in like... High school. In high school, which there's nothing wrong with it because everyone around me was, was doing that. But I think I would have liked to have been able to see the big picture back then. Yeah. And then like, well, what is it that you love to do? And... I should have gotten involved. Yeah, focus, focus. focus more on the future, but it was really almost impossible when you're 16 living in Miami. Like, no one is yeah. thinking about their future, so it's like, why yeah, would I have? I okay. But it would have been, it would have been nice. Definitely something I regret, but yeah. Do you feel people see you both as a combo and not as individuals? I mean, <laughs> I think what we're trying to portray is that we are a brother and sister that do get along and we are really good friends, naturally. But I do think that sometimes people may think of us as like, oh, we're obviously going together, or oh, we're obviously doing this together, which it's not. Like, you know, I think, still think people should ask us, like, individually what we want, what we want and yeah. then go from there. And we usually both want to do it, or both want to go, or whatever, but I do appreciate when people yeah. realize that we're not always a combo, you know, that we like, like to do our separate lives. I think what we, again, what we portray online and stuff is our relationship and we kind of keep our personal friendships and our personal relationships yeah. out of it and so I think people automatically assume that that's we all just, there is to it, yeah. but it's like, no, me and Vale film each other on Instagram because 
that's what we do, but there's a lot of things that are film. private that we don't film that are us individually or us with people that, that we want to do um, separately. Personal so lives. I understand why someone would assume that, and that's obviously the brand or whatever. No, we're I mean, obviously going we for. do do so stuff together. together. Yeah, like, we always go out together. Yeah. We always hang out. We always like love to work together. And yeah, stuff. but yeah, it's just like that, like differentiating between when we want to be individuals. Uh -huh. and want to be seen as yeah. a brother and sister duo. Well guys, that's the personal Q&A. Um, thank you guys for sending in some questions. There was a lot of weird ones, but a lot of funny ones and a lot of good ones. We'll just ignore the weird ones. Very much. But um, yeah, so I know you guys want to hear us speak more Spanish. Well, some of you. So we're definitely, our next video, we'll try to do all in Spanish. Try, because yeah. we're kind of by, we, we're, what's the word? Spanglish. Spanglish. Yeah. Um, but comment Spanglish. below what you guys want to see from us. If it is in Spanish, if there's any topic that you guys want us talking about or any game or something that you guys think would be a good idea. Let us know. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Comment below what you guys want to see from us. And we love you.